The challenge all of them have is that, you know, as you continue to add more networks, adding a, adding a streaming network takes nothing, as we said earlier. Yeah, it exactly. Really takes I mean, let me just I mean, we, you had yeah. said the Conan O'Brien show. I mean, you know, even them, it's easy enough to. I mean, I think in fact they do have, mm -hmm. you know, a YouTube channel where they have clips of all their, all you know, clips from from the show. Right. Jimmy Fallon's Tonight Show is actually the most popular show because they've changed the way that they do the program to basically making it digestible on uh, mobile devices in little clips. So they get as many views off of their clips as they do from the show itself. Oh yeah, Which totally. makes it a tremendous platform. Again, going back to the advertiser, mm -hmm. you can say, we maintain the same viewership that was held by, you know, first Johnny Carson and, and then uh, uh, Jay Leno. Mm -hmm. We're maintaining that even through this changing, you know, landscape because we've changed our program so that it is consumable over different platforms. Yeah. So as an advertiser, you go, okay, it's great. an exciting model, and it's just one of those evolutions that people are going to figure out. Is that going to be the model that works for everyone? Maybe, probably not. Right. Somebody will come up with something else that works for their particular type of content. Yeah. But that's what they've it, all got to kind of find exciting. their own creative yeah. uh, advertising and, and content distribution strategies. Absolutely, absolutely. It's an exciting time.